Let's begin at this hour by telling you that bandits have attacked two farming communities in Zamfara State, where they killed at least 30 farmers, including a respected Islamic cleric. Police spokesperson in Zamfara, ASB Yazad Abu Abubakar, confirmed the attacks at the Maradun and Safi local government areas, but said details would be given later. Makwishi Abaki, a renowned Islamic cleric, and another person were killed in Maradun town. Two of the uh, cleric's children are still missing after the attack. It was learned that three other persons were killed by the bandits in another village, while residents of the village killed 24 bandits and recovered eight of their motorbikes. Now, to discuss this, I am uh, joined on the news at this time by the former chairman for the prosecution of armed banditry and related offenses, Zamfara State, Sunny Shinkafi. Thank you for your time, Sunny. Okay, thank you for having me. All right, now let's start off with this. What do you consider the underlying socioeconomic and political factors responsible for uh, what we experience, particularly the rise of banditry in places like Zafra and other regions in Nigeria? The white state of armed banditry and kidnapping for Ramsa in Zafra state or in the Northwest zone it's a it's a bad bad governance porous border corruption unemployment poverty proliferation of smaller and lighter arms uh injustice and weak judicial system all right these are some of the attributes of the widespread of banditry in the state and also in the northern Nigeria. Mm. All right. Uh, I mean, you. I mean, let's look at uh, all of this and how does the lack of effective social measures and uh, law enforcement, you know, contribute to the vulnerability, particularly of these rural communities, uh, to the attacks uh, by bandits. Uh, the attack in the rural community. The armed bandit have turned banditry and kidnapping for ransom as a criminal economic enterprise, where uh, a lot of uh, security agencies, traditional rulers, as I have mentioned, judicial weak judicial system, unemployment, poverty has attributed to all this widespread threat of banditry. Most especially in the rural community. Even now, the bandits have expanded their rampage into the local government headquarters in the Zamfara state. There is a constant and frequent attack in Zulmi local government where they even burn down the MTN max, that is communication service. And uh, there is constant and frequent attack in Saipi local government, in mm. Bungudu local government, in Moru local government, also in Aranamoda local government. A, a, from last month to this month, Saipi local government town on daylight was attacked by an armed bandit. Last Sunday, they wore hijab and attacked the market on the market day and killed several people an unspecified number of people were kidnapped so in summary the widespread of banditry contributed to bad governance corruption injustice and also on the part of the state government and the federal government there is conspiracy of silence and also political will by the government to to foretell this issue of insecurity once and for all. Hmm. Now, you, you, you talked about lack of political will uh, in trying to resolve these issues. Why do you think that is? Yeah, the issue of political will is a, is a, is a, is a, is a uh, open thing because on the part of the federal government, a huge amount of money was appropriated in the national budget. Yet, the military in the process are complaining of uh, they are under-equipped 
under-motivated, under-appreciated, and understaffed. Of all the huge budgets, there is no much functional APC, APC that is an ammo personnel carrier vehicle. Because the terrain where these uh, armed bandits are, are, are holding their victims in captivity, it's a very, very difficult terrain. So you need a APC, that's ammo personnel carrier vehicle, hmm. to face this bandit in their hideout and gun trucks. So if you look at the budget, in 2024 budget, about 3.2 trillion was appropriated in the national budget. Defense took lion's share in the national budget, about 4% of the total budget. But yet, these personnel are complaining of lack of equipment and lack of also synergy within the security agencies and also lack of the, on the part of the state government, there is conspiracy of silence. Mm. All right. The social media reportage and this conventional media reporting is less. So looking at what happened, in Marado local government, I a well-known okay. secretary, Mohammed Mokosha, was killed, was killed, and his children are still missing. And in Bilbis, Chambak, or Yesterday, it was highly, on Thursday, it's a black Thursday to all the people of Zanfara State. More than 120 people were kidnapped in Gora, in Brunei right, Magaji, Sonny. local government. That is why I was accusing government of conspiracy of silence. 100 and people, people, people were kidnapped. More than 120 shops were emptied. And also 11 motorcycles was cut away by this bandit. Yes, right, uh, that's Sonny, not I, I mean, we, we are pressed for time. Yeah. Thank you so much for the insights and contribution uh, you've given us on the news. Sonny Shinkafi is actually the former chairman for the prosecution of Ambanditri and related offenses at Zamfara State. Once again, thank you for your time on the news.